last night daydream. The glass stands one quarter full. Jack takes another gulp and wonders about his tears. Last year he cried at the thought of a puppy, but that was when he was an infant. Rough season after season sours the soul. Brittle morning before the world wakes up, he sits and stares. What do you call the opposite of an afternoon nap? The glass is one eighth full. In another hour, clock radios will joke and laugh at traffic. Jack rubs the top of his head. He marks through his last two thoughts. What do you do first? Make a list. Next, prioritize until the glass is totally empty. At his full potential, Jack remains a consummate doubter. Uh, war poem. This is in, it's called About There. It's in four sections. The first section is um, Left of the Light. No, oh, I think that's it. Left of the Light, then Right to the Ruins. You can't miss it. And then the coda is called here. Death Games. Cogs mesh, teeth gnash, lives flash before eyes bait in horrible torment. The point being, no two people can live at the same time in the exact same space and ever expect survival. Holy lands, fist and feet, species crush stragglers, exiles, prisoners without walls, the diasporas of cultural devotion. Since belief grows out of genetic codes, then each race does bow to its unique God. Surely hard to endure if one is not one of the chosen few ceremonial selection. Nightmares run amok across the realm of the real as oil scum films opalescent over cooling pools of blood. Uh, I want to do one of my scraps. Two series called Scraps. If I can find it. Just one of the stanzas. These are written in uh, John Berryman's Dream Song stanzas. Soon, the army will be fully computerized. Soldiers replaced by unmanned drones. A mechanical enemy with artificial intelligence will wage war on a field where there will be no one but civilians to kill. I believe that. She wanted to hold your pen. You know, she said, here, let me help you with that. I can write that for you. Jean, and Jean has a nice, even hand. Always has had, you know. Yes, she has her hand into whatever. Her plans are by design, purpose at your elbow. She has her principle and she grips it like a pistol. You write on and never let on that you are suspicious. You know, you've got your pen well in hand. Still, you feel this need to thrust and parry the orthographic duel. She wants you to worry. She wants to get control of your own language. She figures prominently you let letters gather as they will. She will edit. She will take your word and cross them off with lipstick, her black lipstick. 